just like a reverend on me. Chopped it up to sin, took it on my chin. Gotta take some L's if you wanna win. They took a d- but didn't take a sin. I didn't even have no re-up I could re-up with. Had to rob another d- just to re-up. Pray to God it in his heart, he found forgiveness for me. It was nothing personal, it was that business for me. When I got on, I paid him back and told him it was ugly. I'd rather ask forgiveness like a hundred times than be asking for permission in a beggar's line. Cause of who I be and check out how I tend to mind. I got a partner who don't eat no pork at dinner time. But let you act like you gon' ever hurt or end your mind. He have your woman, then that's my dinner time. I keep my eyes on glory till the devil get behind. Now bear in mind the devil made me offers I decline. We not aligned, not combined, I am not confined to any wicked system that these demons have designed. They frame my mind and have you salty as a bacon rind. I'm trying to mastermind how to help out humankind. I'm open mind, but I do not walk with none of line. My state of mind is to keep a peaceful peace of mind. I'm like Malcolm with my peace at the Venetian blinds. I'm trying to manifest some things in my subconscious mind that I have only seen in dreams in my unconscious mind. My dreams are refined, spring the mind, of state of mind. That make you seem this lucky life of mine is redesigned. And if it is, then thank the law, cause that's the mastermind. <laughs> yes, coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Indianapolis Colts and the Los Angeles Rams. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Right back to Dobbins on first. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Well, this defense for the Colts, they were very good in the win last week against Jacksonville. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. 
On third down, here's Dobbins. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. to the 29, a gain of four. Good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. It's just inside the 30. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense, forcing that incompletion. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. A rifle throw, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Michael O.J. Moody. And the Rams are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. And this Charles, definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this was drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably crossed that fine line with giving him the right advice and saying it too much. And it He's got a man complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big connection on that one. 32 yards. They go play action here on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And he maneuvers. 
Rodgers is way down to the three-yard line. Now, they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Looking to throw. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Colts have taken the lead. Tristan Viscano for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7 3. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. The return man down to a knee and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss on that play. And now third down gets tougher. Third and six. It's now third down and six. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. We're all still valiantly searching for the so-called book, right, that tells us what to do in every situation. Everyone kind of knows what it says, but it's never really been written down anywhere. He violated every code on that one, didn't he? <laughs> Decided to go for it right there. Oh, yeah, your side of the field, this stage of the game, you're supposed to punt the football. He said, who cares? I'm going to light the book on fire. Yeah, analytics, everyone else, be warned, he's coming for you. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Herbert. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, 
and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. On first down, Dobbins. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, we know he's an electric runner. Earlier this half, we were wondering, you were wondering how they were going to bottle him up in different levels. That was your suggestion. Some mixed results. Yeah, certainly, because we have seen him bottled up at times. We've seen him play him very well. We've also seen him pop the cork a few times and get out of there, haven't we? <laughs> we have indeed. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 47 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A give. Dobbins trying the right side. Powering his way forward. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. Now a give right side. Dobbins and strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five. Now a handoff for Dobbins. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll run. It's Dobbins. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. No gain on the play. It's fourth down. They're going for it with Dobbins. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And that will force a turnover on downs. The Colts come to the line. See how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes inbounds there. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Eluding the pressure right toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll look to throw. At the 17-yard line. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there. 
as the first half is winding down. And the Colts would extend their lead here just before halftime. The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they'll take over with just 16 ticks remaining before intermission. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven, forthcoming. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Second down and seven. Now it's Herbert. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. This time they stay on the ground. Powers by at the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. And we will not see a return to start the half.